once I have successfully run my analysis tool and I can see a his successful history item in the history pane, I'm ready to share this analysis. But before I do that, make sure I have already logged in to my ArcGIS Enterprise using an account that have the publish web tool privileges. So I right click here for my successful history item, choose share as web tool. And this should lead me to the share as a web tool pane, as you can see here. So the name of the web tool is automatically popped up from your model. Here I need to tap some summary, provide a tag. Here in the data options, there are two options, reference registered data or copy all data. Because I do not have any data that I have referenced, so I would just choose copy all data. This means all the project data used by your web tool will be copied to the server. So when a user uses your published web tool, the server knows where to get the data to run the tool. Here in the location, you see the portal folder. You can choose an existing portal, portal folder or just create a new one. The second one is the server and folder. This is where your geoprocessing services will be at. You can create a new folder or choose an existing one. Here in the share with, you can choose how you want to share your analysis with. You can share your web tool with everyone, or you can share your web tool with your ArcGIS Enterprise, or even certain groups. Here, let's go over to the second tab, configuration. The first is capability. This upload is not actually used by this analysis, but if you have some analysis using file, as an input, you will want to turn this option because you want your users to upload their own file to the server. Here in the execution mode, there is two, one, two modes. The first is asynchronous, the second is synchronize. Asynchronize is, as it says, it's good for long running tools and synchronize is for short, quick tools. So for this one, I will choose with the asynchronize execution mode. In the properties, for the message level, I will choose warning to just give a little bit more information than just errors. And uh, I think because of the result of my analysis should be below 1000 features, so I'll leave it as a default. But if you think your analysis will return features like 10,000, you pump probably want to adjust this to maybe 15,000. And last, let's go to the content tab. Here, if you want to add additional analysis to your published web tools, you can do so here by selecting additional history item. But here, I just want to publish this optimized wind farm model. So we just leave it as it is. Notice there is a pencil button to the right of your tasks. This is very important because here is where you can configure your tool properties. Let's take a look what it's about. Here it has the task information, optimized wind farm. Let's give them a description. So I type some very simple description there. Let's take a look at the first parameter, wind farm proposals. Here, uh, because the goal of my web tool is to let users to upload their own proposals to evaluate if they can build wind farms in the proposals area. So I will leave this as a user defined for the input mode. And once I choose user defined, you can see the geometry type is automatically changed to polygon with the schema automatically popped up. Let's take a look at the second parameter, weld land areas. For this, 
specific task because I do not want our users to upload their own wildland areas for analysis. So I would just choose choice list. And when I choose choice list, you can see all existing layers in my table of content here is automatically popped up. But for this one, for this parameter, I only need the wildland areas. I do not need road networks. I do not need the proposals that I just used. So let's unclick those unneeded layers. So there is only one left, wildland areas. Oh, and this is a required parameter. Let's take a look at the third parameter, road erase. Because for this parameter, I really don't want users to worry about this road network. I do not want them to define their own road network. I do not want them to upload their own network, road network. So I will change it from trust list to constant. You can notice once I change the input mode to constant value, everything is grayed out because once it's published, users will not be able to see this parameter at all. And when the web tool is run on the server side, the tool is automatically will choose this row erase clip for the model input. And the last one is output. We do not need to worry about that here. Before I publish, let's analyze this tool. After I click analyze, we need to click go back and see the messages. Expand that. You can see there are two data sources will be copied to the server. The first one is the wildland areas, which I know in the second parameter as a choice list. And the road erase clip, which is my third parameter, which is a constant. My web tool needs these two parameters or two layers to run successfully on the server. So I'm okay with them to be copied to the server. Let's click publish. The first step of publishing is consolidating data and staging web tool. So this is ArcGIS Pro is getting the model ready, package them up, go to any source data to see if they are still available. Once they get everything ready, your tool, your model, it will consolidate those data and stage the web tool as it says. This can take a while. Once it's done, you can see it's uploading service definition. This is when after ArcGIS Pro finish up everything, it pass all the information to your ArcGIS server so the server can get ready and finish the publish process. Because here I'm also published uh, to a federated server, which uh, is my ArcGIS Enterprise with the portal. It's also uploading information to portal for ArcGIS. So there will be a portal item, which is a web tool created in your portal. Once the web tool is successfully published, you can click this link to open a web page. And here you can see the web tool information here. Also in the catalog pane, you can go back to your portal. And you can confirm that your new web tool is successfully published here. Thank mm -hmm. you.